What's best for a centre-back? Is it marking and tackling? Or is it pace and acceleration? Well, today, we've got one for marking and tackling and 20 for pace and acceleration for one defender. And we flip reversed it, Blazing Squad style, for the other one. Let's jump in and see how these two defenders get on. And we've gone Spain and Germany for today's experiment. We've got Inigo Jimenez, who is our fast but crap at tackling and marking player. And we've got Dieter Giebler, Dieter Gebler, the German who has got max marking and tackling, but minimum pace and acceleration. As you can see, the polygons are, well, they're interesting, aren't they? They are certainly interesting. So what do we expect to happen in this experiment? Well, they've got 90 current ability. They've got 200 potential ability. They are mercenaries. You know, we've made them mercenaries because we're hopefully going to incite a few transfers and a few moves. They've got good professionalism, ambition, important matches great temperament and lots of controversy very dirty as well 15 we've got exactly the same hidden attribute breakdown because we want them to have the ability to get to 200 but we also want them to be a bit of a dickhead along the way so without further ado shall we jump forward one year and see where they start their careers and Inigo Jimenez has gone to Levante in the Spanish second division and Dieter Giebler has gone to RB Leipzig and as you can see Jimenez has gone to one 107 and Giebler has gone to 103. Now, what I find interesting, marking and tack marking's gone up to three. Tackling has not moved from one. He's been retrained a bit as an awkward right back. He can play as a makeshift central midfielder and he's actually playing as a makeshift attacking midfield right. We've got versatility down at two. So they're doing fair or whack to try and get him into a different position. Old Dieter hasn't moved position whatsoever. And his pace and acceleration have moved from one up to two. There's not a lot really that's changed in this first instance now because Jimenez is at Levante in the second division I expect him to get into the side far quicker than Dieter will get into the RB Leipzig side so he's going to need a loan move he's going to need to move and well or maybe just kick on with their training facilities but I would say Inigo going to the lower league side has probably got the edge at this juncture in terms of their ability he will become a great player if he just changes to a different position now that's what the that's what the AI should do. If I had this this player, there's absolutely no way I'm going to be having him as a centre-back because that's where the game says he plays. Because he's got one for marking and uh, tackling. Well, three for marking now. But I'd have him as a, a, a winger. I mean, yeah, his dribbling's not great and his crossing's not great, but he's got the pace. Maybe a full-back? No, he's not got the tackling. I don't know. Where would you play him? You'd find somewhere for him. You'd probably just put him on uh, a crossing, uh, crossing and dribbling uh, heavy schedule for training. Give him some game time. That's what I'd do anyway. But we'll see what they do. The 16, they're probably not going to move away from their home nations. I don't think they're going to move away from their home nations at all, to, to be honest, in the first couple of years. If, if Inigo's going to move, he's going to move somewhere else in Spain. Dieters are going to be at Leipzig for, I'd say, probably into his early 20s. And only then will he move if he's not getting the game time. So we're, we're going to jump forward two years at this juncture to 2026. There's going to be a nice big jump in current ability, but there's also probably not going to be much happening in this next juncture at 2025. So we're going to go straight to 2026. But before we do that, if you could please just subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of thing or all the other experiments on the channel, go and have a look at them if you're new around here and subscribe while you're here. I'd much appreciate it. I was wrong. Jimenez has moved to Man United. His markings at five, his tackling's at three. He moved for eleven and a half million pounds. Although he has only just moved in the January, 16th of January. So, oh, they went up. He got promoted with Levante in 2025. He got promoted. He's played 88 times for them. So let's have a quick look at his record for them. He he's playing 20 times in the first division for them, getting a 6.96. The first division. They have been relegated, sadly, by two points. Disappointing for him. But he's gone to Man United, where his detail still at RB Leipzig now they're at 136 and 137 respectively the acceleration and pace has moved from one up or up all the way to six for old Dieter over here and he's played a little bit for RB Leipzig last season he played 13 times in the league six starts seven off the bench 21 games in all competitions with 11 of those being starts so it it's starting. He's actually in the team and I'm impressed. He's already broken in to the squad and started to get a little bit of game time. Inigo at Man United, unfortunately, he's only played the one game for them and that was off the bench. I'd like to think they're going to put, send him out on loan. They need to send him out on loan, really. Otherwise, they could potentially ruin him. Not like United to ruin 
a young up and coming prospect is it anyway we're just going to quickly jump into 2027 because i'm interested to see if any of these do get that loan move so he's on the loan list wow 147 and 148 so they're really absolutely motoring through the current ability attribute points they're, they're flying up every single season he did go on loan to burnley in the sky bet championship he played twice for united in the first half of the season once one start one off the bench he started in the cup as well at 7.3 to be fair he's gone to burnley in january three three cup games nine league games and Burnley did get promoted. So while he was at Burnley, he managed to get himself promoted via the playoffs. Fair play. He's been promoted twice as old Inigo Jimenez. Not too shabby. Tackling now at four, marking up at six. He's been play he's now an awkward right midfield and right back. Still only a makeshift central midfielder. Versatility's moved up to three. I don't think much else has changed. Maybe loyalty's moved up from one. There's his polygon looking quite nicely rounded. 147 current ability, and he's on the loan list. Dieter, on the other hand, for RB Leipzig. Well, still doing great in terms of his um, marking and tackling. His pace and acceleration has moved all the way up to eight so this is interesting really if you think about it this the part part of the reason we're doing these where we don't have them locked we have them so they can grow it's so you can see what attributes can grow the best with game time with nurturing with a player and as you can see tackling is not moving forward anywhere near as much as acceleration and pace is markings moved up a little bit but acceleration and pace have really kicked on to the point where yes he's still slow he's got eight pace eight acceleration but once that gets over 10 He's a very passable defender, and with 20 marking and tackling and great jumping reach, decent heading, he's going to be a pretty good centre-back. Will he be world-class? Well, if he gets 200, of course he'd be world-class. It's how high his acceleration and pace can reach he's got pretty good physicals apart from that you know good stamina good strength good uh, natural fitness agility fantastic mentals and in terms of his career stats he played 16 times last season for Leipzig 14 of those were starts so he's really breaking into the first team unfortunately they haven't managed to win the league he finished second uh, eight points behind Bayern Munich and wow 17 points behind Bayern Munich there so Bayern Munich of course are absolutely walking away with it Matthias Darm there who is uh, Thomas Tuchel's uh, long lost brother if you didn't know fun fact and of course man city have been winning the league every single season and pep's still in charge Bayern city and arsenal have won the champions leagues in the last three seasons man city won the one before that so yeah two for man city in this experiment one for Bayern, one for arsenal you've still got Mikel arteta if anyone was wondering so where are we at then 19 years young 147 and 148 respectively uh inigo needs a low move 28 i think one more year right so he's gone to 154 and dita is at 157 now they're actually being capped internationally three caps for spain and he's played a little bit for manchester united four starts four off the bench he played in cup games as well three starts three off the bench that's seven starts seven off the bench 14 appearances in total it's not enough nowhere near enough especially at these formative years of his career now again acceleration of pace still absolutely flying marking's gone to seven though not too bad there this is defensive midfield united have played him as a makeshift tackling as up at four so four and seven good enough for me not good enough whereas Dieter on the other hand 10 and 10 for acceleration and pace and you'd almost be forgiven for thinking he's just a little bit slow just middle of the road just a, just middle of the road I mean Inigo is much better attacking wise in terms of his, his polygon that's where some of his attribute points are unnecessarily of course the physicals and the speed is just absolutely weighted in terms of Inigo but the defensive capabilities of Dieter are just through the roof and he has made one cap for G Germany played too. He played 19 times last season, 17 of them starts. Unfortunately, once again, it was Bayern Munich who managed to win the league by 11 points. Leipzig in second. Is anyone going to come in for him? And are, there, are we going to have any big moves? I'd like to think that there's, there's there's a big move on the horizon. They're 20 years old now. Inigo needs that loan move, although he's keeping pace with Dieter. So does he need that loan move? Or is he actually going to achieve his potential at Man United? Well, we're just limping forward year by year at the moment because I feel like we're not covering loads when we're here, but we are covering i don't know it's important to sort of check in on i'm interested i'm very intrigued you might be wondering what made you think about doing this experiment well there's a defender that I was looking at on my lead save regen very slow so i thought we'll go and check this out so i didn't buy him kind of wish i had now 2029 20, here we come okay he's up at 168 he's gone to 168 as old in ago he's asking to leave because he wants to get into the national team setup. He's played six times for Spain. Uh, Marcelino's in charge. He's he's there. He's in the Spanish team at 168. He wants to leave to get in the Spanish team. Well, you're there, mate. You're bloody there. Um, ninth marking, five tackling. Rounding out very well. 
again, not a defender for me. Uh, very much a winger, a flat winger. Again, his heading and jumping reach is very good for someone who is actually not going to be very good going forward. His dribbling and crossing's improved a bit as well. Yeah, turn him into a winger. But he's asking to leave. He's worth a hell of a lot of money as well. I mean, understandably so. Manchester United. To be fair, he's wanting to leave to get into the national team setup. How long has that been there? Because he's played 37 league games last season. There's only 38 games available. He played every single game, bar one. He only got a 6.86, but defenders never get the best um, average ratings, do they? Really? Unless they get the odd goal here and there. 12 times he played in Europe. He played 56 games over the entire season. Seven in the cup competition. So, he played 10 non-competitive games as well. He played 66 times, plus three times uh, internationally. He played 69 times. Nice. Dietrich, on the other hand, has moved up to 174. Well, he's actually pulled clear. It was very confusing to see. Um, Make your boy Inigo um, playing so many times for Man United. Now, tackling's dropped to 19. So, we've lost one of the 20s. He's got 12 for acceleration, 11 for pace. And a couple more, and he's, he's just brilliant, isn't he? And he's probably going to get that couple more. 29 times he played in the league for Leipzig. And Dortmund won it. Leipzig have been second. Always the bridesmaid, never the bride. They finished seventh getting Conference League football. What the bloody hell has happened to Leipzig? They've won the DFB Pakal. He's a DFB Pakal winner. But unfortunately, down in seventh, disappointing. Is that going to make him want to leave and go and play Champions League football? Because let me tell you, he deserves to. And I won't be surprised if when we come back in 2030, they've both moved. If Inigo moves and gets away from United, I won't be surprised if United came in and signed Dita. But where did United finish in the league? Wayne Rooney's in charge of Man United, ladies and gentlemen. Hang about. Four Champions Leagues. The only one in the Champions League. They're the current Champions League holders. They're the current Champions League holders. So they're definitely going to be in it the next season. I was going to say, did Man United even qualify for the Champions League? Yes, they did. They finished seventh in the league in Champions League football. How long has Wayne Rooney been there? 221 days. Champions League winner, Wayne Rooney. Fair play. Eric Ten Hag's at Napoli. And now's as good a time as any, isn't it? Go and have a look at Ralph. He's the manager of Scotland, ladies and gentlemen. He's been the manager of Austria. He went to Al Nasser, securing the bag. Although we always go back and we always look when he's been to Saudi Arabia. And he was always on like 20 grand a week. Like an inconsequential amount of money for the Saudi Arabian sort of uh, system. He's the current Scotland manager anyway. Let's hope he can go and do something with Scotland. We'll see. Ralph Rangnick was uh, Scotland manager as well. Interesting. So, 2030, here we come then. Let's see if they've moved. Neither of them have moved. Now, Inigo is not interested in leaving Manchester United. Let that be known. 178 out of 200. But of course, he is a man. He is a, he is a Champions League winner. That that goes without saying. So, as we saw last time, Mehmet Ali is now in charge. Why is Wayne Rooney not there? He got sacked. Liverpool have broken Manchester City's dominance by getting their first title. And Man City finished fifth. They did get Champions League football, but they sacked Pep. They've sacked Pep. Sean Gota came in, was uh, in charge. 27 days. Feed the goat and he will score. They're finally purely in charge. Man United finished in seventh. Not good enough. Not good enough indeed, unfortunately. Just not good enough, is it? At all for Manchester United. I mean, Inigo, if we look at him, his tackling's up at six. His marking's at 11. He's still got 20 for pace and acceleration. Pretty good polygon. Only 32 times for United this season. Might have had a little injury. Meh. A little hernia. About it. Nothing, nothing major. Nothing major. Dieter, on the other hand, he's wanted by Liverpool and he's at 185. His pace is at 13. His acceleration's at 12. He's still only got 19 tackling, because so he has lost that tackling. But he's rounding out to be a fantastic player. And... <sighs> I don't know. I just don't like how bad this is. I mean, if, if I saw this player, it, now you're looking at 12 and 13 acceleration and pace. I'm, because I've seen how he's improved, you know, really slow defenders when they first come through as regens. I'm going to think twice now. I really will think twice and I probably will buy them, especially if they're looking good elsewhere. 32 times he played for Leipzig and he got 7.25. Fantastic stuff. Unfortunately, it was Borussia Dortmund who won the league for the second season in a row. Leipzig, 16 points off the pace in third. Bayern Munich, still not managing to get the league back finishing in second Jurgen Klopp is their manager Matthias Darm left to go and become the manager of Inter Milan who took over from Unai Emery who left to go and become the manager of Manchester United and he's been sacked Manchester United have just oh he was manager of Manchester United for only 167 days before Wayne Rooney and that was his last job he's not been he's not been employed since Man United someone give him a chance bloody hell will Dieter get that move and will he be the one that gets to 200 first I think they're both going to get there they're both very close and at 22 years old. Still got a good few years of progress in them. I think they've got it in the bag. Let's go to 2031. See if anyone moved. So he has moved. D2 has. He's gone to Liverpool and it's 190 versus 194. So closing that gap and Inigo is now a leader no longer a mercenary and that's because his leadership has gone all the way up to 19 what's Dieter's? Oh, he's 16 
So still got the 24 pace and acceleration. His marking is up at 12, which is very good. His tackling's only at six. Oh. Is this why Man United are so bad? Because it's just such a shortfall. 32 appearances. I guess 7.18 and the 7.07 the season before over 32 appearances. Chelsea won the league. Manchester United finished in third. Fair play. They've actually done a little bit better than I thought they would have done. Not won the FA Cup though or the Carabao Cup. He's not just, he's not there, is he? He's not there, but... Liverpool have signed Dieter Giebler for £282 million. He looks phenomenal. His heading's now up at 16. His pace and acceleration is both at 13. The rest of his physicals are fantastic. His mentals are otherworldly. Look at the 19s there. Look at the greens. Fantastic stuff. And £282 million, 252 of it up front. Well, some of it could have been in installments, but what I mean is there's no add-on. Uh, 252 guaranteed, regardless of how he performs in other areas. He did get a 7.33, but you've got to say in, for United how he finished seventh a couple of times for him Dieter to come over to the Premier League go to a club that had won the league this previous season and finished fourth behind United and Inigo a little bit funny right a little bit funny Arsenal have won the Champions League the most recent season Man City won the FA Cup after Liverpool had already won it so th they've lost that as well so Premier League and FA Cup winners and unfortunately they've not done it they've both got 30 international caps which I think is very very satisfying isn't it and we're nearly there at 200 so we are going to have a look in the, on their polygons and as you can see Inigo's defensive line is just so flat you could well what could you do on something flat I don't know sit on it lie on it fry an egg on it if it was warm I didn't think I was I, I'm yeah delirious tiredness five month old baby I thought this video wasn't going weird and then he had to say something like that. That's staying in, all of it, whatever. And to be fair, him Inigo is on 425k a week. Dita only on 250,000 pounds a week. So yeah, Inigo's securing the bag. It'd be great to have them both in the same team. That'd be nice. Don't think it's going to happen. Liverpool have just paid the best part of 300 million pounds for him on slot using his entire transfer budget very clearly. To be fair, he did bring 153 million pounds in. So we're at 2031. We are going to jump in bigger jumps soon, but not just yet because the 200 out of 200 is still up for debate. Who will get there first? Probably Dita. But Inigo's closed it to within four attribute points and it's going to slow down now because they're 23. They're probably not going to hit it by 2032. Probably by 2033 they will, but we're going to go to 2032 and see the lay of the land. Okay, I was wrong. Uh, well... Okay, so they both got there. Dieter's at 199, but when they hit 199, very often it's because the next attribute to increase will put them over 200, which means it can't improve, so they get locked at sort of 199. It's kind of like a little thing that Football Manager does. Rather than just putting them to 200 and having a nice round figure in them to go, hallelujah, they've got there, it just sort of does that. So they're both there, but as Inigo got to 200 first, in my opinion, he's winning. I mean, he's not. He's winning far less trophies. And Dieter is unhappy about failing to challenge for the Premier Division title. Well, 13 for pace and acceleration. That's that's it for his polygon. He's he's got he's had some of his 19s have moved to 20s and he's got up some 16s to 17s as well. So it's his mentals that have improved really. He played 31 times for Liverpool in the most recent season and well, I'd say Dieter's won more trophies up to this point. They finished 5th that season. He's not happy about not challenging for the Premier League title because they were 16 points behind. Eventual winners, Inigo Jimenez's Manchester United. Their vice captain himself. He's a good player for him as well. Man United bought him from Newcastle for 229 million. Big money signings all over the shop. David Personnel is Mehmet Ali and Anthony apparently. He's wanted. He's been there a long time. Fair play. And he's won the Europa League as well with United when they were in it last season. So that's impressive. So he's had a Champions League win, a Europa League win. He's now won the Premier League. Has he won the FA Cup? Current FA Cup winners. They've only gone and done a domestic double. The domestic treble and a Carabao Cup as well. Where did they finish in the Champions League? Semi-final defeat to PSG who lost in the final to Arsenal. Two Champions Leagues in a row for them. Well, I said Dieter's probably won more trophies. 
has he now? Has he won more trophies? Because for me, not counting the community shield, DFB Pakal, and that's actually it. He's won he's won nothing because he didn't win the Champions League with Liverpool. He's not won the league. He came after they'd won those two things. So all he's won is the DFB Pakal. So I'm absolutely flabbergasted at how little he's actually won. I thought he'd won a lot more. I'm getting confused. And Inigo, on the other hand, promoted with Levante, promoted with Burnley, Champions League winner with Man United, Europa League winner, European South American Club Challenge winner, Carabao Cup, FA Cup, Premier League. Inigo also got to 200 first. Ladies and gentlemen, currently leading the experiment and winning a man at centre-back with seven tackling. So, pace is more important then. You see how much they can improve. I mean, realistically, they've both improved to 200 and it's not held them back. And who would you rather have in your side as a centre-back? For me, I'd prefer this guy. Um, I'd prefer them marking and tackling with that pace than um, all the pace. Although he's got great anticipation and great decisions. So, for me, he's not making bad decisions by diving into tackles. Look, does not dive into tackles because he's he's got only got seven tackling. He's got 19 decision-making very composed great anticipation great pace I just don't think he ever has to make a tackle the more you know I'm, I'm, I'm a bit floored by it I'm absolutely floored by it well we're going to move forward a little bit uh, more now we're going to jump forward three years to 2035 because I want to see how they uh, are progressing and I want to sort of start to round off this experiment they've both got to 200 they've both got to where we want them to be I'm very impressed with how they've progressed and I'm very impressed with the attribute upgrades and I'm impressed at how Manchester United have turned their fortunes around Round, and I'm just amazed that Dieter, a £282 million signing, went to the current FA Cup and Premier League winners. And they've done so bad. Go to 2035. So there we go. Oh, so Dieter did get to 200 in the end. So um, a bit of attribute sort of tweaking. Well, pace and acceleration has actually moved to 14. So he's obviously lost something elsewhere for that to move up to 14. He's now played far more games for Liverpool than he ever did for RB Leipzig. Uh, three scenes in a row, he's been absolutely phenomenal. And Inigo, of course, is also pretty phenomenal for Manchester United. What a signing he's been for them. Ever present at the back. A 7.45 in this most recent season. And to begin with, we were discussing whether they should play him as a winger he still probably would although his pace has gone down to 19 at 27 years old he's on nearly 600k a week and his tackling's moved up to eight it is on 325k liverpool you tight buggers remember the truth there let's go to the premier league who's won it the last three years it's been city arsenal and then united again so we're going to jump back to here where united won it and liverpool finished in fifth and the following season so as we saw city won it but it was still united that finished ahead of liverpool who were down in fifth someone's won the champions league there because six teams have qualified for it. United then up in second with Liverpool in fourth. Six teams qualifying for it again. Newcastle down in seventh. Newcastle have won the Champions League and United have won the league there with Liverpool down in fourth. Again, six teams qualifying for the Champions League. So clearly someone has won it. And in the last three years, two FA Cups for United. A 3 3. Mar Marco Hanzic with a hat trick. <gasps> oh, he's good, isn't he? What's his current ability? 1 8 7. His hidden attributes aren't fantastic. Actually, they are. His hidden attributes are pretty good. The ones that you need to be good are, anyway. They they bought him from Tottenham for £232 million. God, the signings, the £200 million signings that teams are doing. It's it's insane, isn't it? But the Carabao Cup belongs to Liverpool. Three in a row. So he's actually winning some trophies. Now, we're going to go and have a look at the Champions League. I'm, not, I'm going to be very careful not to click on United and Liverpool because I don't want to ruin things. Nagelsmann at Chelsea. Who are the current Champions League winners? Let that be known. But the last three years, it was United, then City, then Chelsea. So Inigo Jimenez is, of course, doing considerably better. Eddie Howe is in charge of Manchester United. How has that happened? Do you get it? Use your Eddie. Oh, double, double whammy. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see myself out. Good night. Mehmet Ali got sacked and Eddie Howe has been here for two years, 209 days with five cup wins, an FA Cup, a Community Shield, an FA Cup, a Super Cup and a Champions League. And he's also won a Premier League. Fair play, Eddie Howe. You're doing phenomenally well. Liverpool have got Zinedine Zidane in charge. Onslaught left just under two years ago to go and become the manager of Inter Milan. And he was there for just over a year before he became manager of the Netherlands. I'm not sure why his face has now disappeared. We saw his bald head in a previous screen. So I'm not sure why it's done that, but it has. I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. So, they, I mean, I'm having an absolute ball here. <sighs> They're going to start to decline. When will they start to decline? So from the age of 30 onwards, I would say maybe 31, 32. So we'll go to 30, 2038 and see how 
how things are happening. See how things are happening? See what's happening. See how things are going. Oh, I can words. Right, they're still both there at United and Liverpool. Now, be before anyone questions, we will, of course, be going looking at the international scene. At the very end, we're going to do the international roundup of the tournaments. Because as you can see here, the international caps, 110 for Dita and 107 for Inigo Jimenez. Nine tackling, 13 marking. His pace and acceleration are both at 19, so he's lost a yard of pace. He's still got 200 out of 200. Dita, on the other hand, at 199. He's lost another attribute point for tackling. He's gained another acceleration point, though, at 30 years old. He's down at 18 tackling. Very good. Let's have a quick look at the poly gone break down lovely stuff they're fantastic aren't they would you have them both in your team would you play both of them as a combo would you well you'll be able to if you download this save file from the jtreon little, little little plug there for the jtreon because yeah i'll put all these files up might not be quite when the video goes live but then a few days after i always put these up for you guys to download so you can have a little play around a little mess around and take on the save file if you want sign them do whatever you want but i don't plug it enough so yeah if you want to go and support me a little bit more as a creator head on over to the jtreon no obligation though you watching these videos is enough so I thank you. So we've got the Premier League to go and have a look at. We are going to check in the last three years. And the three previous winners have been... What a piece. Liverpool and United have both won a Premier League. So let's go back to here where United did win it, of course. Following season, oh, it was third and fourth. And God, it was a tight title race, wasn't it? One point separating three teams. I'd love to know the final day uh, showdown scores there. Oh, can I be bothered? Where was it? 2035-36. Right, the last game of the season. Arsenal won. Manchester United won. Manchester City also won. So, yeah. Any of those teams slipped up and the other ones were there to pounce. And Arsenal won the previous game, as did United, and City drew. And City did end up winning the league, so they were being pulled back in. Arsenal beating Wolves, United lost to Brighton, and Man City beat Watford. So this is, if had this not happened, and Brighton not beating United, United could have won the league here. Very, very easily interesting so anyway we're here with manchester city fulham getting a deducted nine points for administration conference league football for wolves carabao cup winners congratulations wolves five teams qualifying for the champions league in this season as well following season was the season that liverpool did win it five teams getting champions league football again wolves win the conference league and stay up by a point they've got europa league football to look forward to liverpool won the league united down in third they won it actually by six points from city seven points ahead of united and then united then roared back and won the league six teams qualifying for the Champions League so someone's clearly won it Liverpool down in 5th on 75 points United up in 1st on 89 and that's where we are we are up to date in present day in terms of Champions Leagues well United have won another Champions League so City United and then Newcastle are the most recent winners so Manchester United have won God knows how many Champions Leagues Remember, R. Lee is back he got sacked and then Eddie Howe came in did brilliantly well got sacked Remember, R. Lee came and got them back to the job again went to Aston Villa went to Inter Milan and came back to United I love that balls on him applies for a job that he'd been sacked from and gets it again and goes and be on to become successful fair play MMA. fair fair play to you mate and the United have won the most recent FA Cup and they've also won the most recent Carabao Cup so the domestic treble for Manchester United this season unfortunately they couldn't win the Champions League because that was reserved for Newcastle United lost in the final United lost in the final to Newcastle they could have won the quadruple can you believe it? Oh, dearie me. Dearie, dearie me. Right, they're about to start declining. So we're going to jump forward now. Five years to 2035. They probably will still be there. They might be moving or have moved to Saudi Arabia. Very close to their 35th birthday, they'll probably be off to Saudi Arabia at some point. So they, they might have moved, but I think they'll probably both still be there. I hope they're still there at 35. It'd be nice for them to still be there at 35 and have another five years where we can just have this little sort of versus. Although... Jimenez has absolutely wiped the floor with Giebler, hasn't he? Okay, so Inigo is joining Real Madrid. He's going to Real Madrid for free. Fine, whatever. Um, his tackling is now up at 11. His marking's at 13. His, his acceleration and pace is falling away because, of course, it is because he's 35 years old. He's he's been he's he's, he's been phenomenal for Manchester United. Um, and he's joining Real Madrid. Didn't expect that. Dieter is at 179. He left for 49.5 million pounds to join Al Hilal. And to be honest, his contract's expiring. That'll be him. I just smacked the microphone. That will be him done. I'm almost certain. 
we go forward one year he will not still be around 49 and a half million pounds though to saudi arabia what a large sum of money at this stage of his career but it's saudi arabia of course it is 1.6 million pounds a week he is doing pretty well so two years of this do not count in the little verses to so the premier league well so out of those five years two of them were won by united then liverpool won so 2-1 he then left but united then went on to win another league so they did do all right didn't they arsenal the current premier division champions fa cups well he left and liverpool went on to win the fa cup twice and liverpool did win a carabao cup so did united but mate your boy had gone so doesn't count in the little verses but again as i say in he goes one there's no point even pretending champions leagues ryan mason's in charge of man united what happened to men Ali. He left. He left on his own terms this time. And he said, I'm out. Mic drop. Went to Borussia Dortmund. He actually went to Real Madrid for three years. Ryan Mason's in charge. He is not a Champions League winner, but they did win another one four years ago. Back to back for Newcastle, to be fair. They beat Barcelona in the final. And then Chelsea have won a couple in recent times. United coming runner up. No more for Liverpool. Not even in the final in anywhere near here. So yeah, Inigo has been fantastic. And I wouldn't be surprised if he's in the all-time media 11, the superstar team thing. Wonder if any of them have won a Ballon d'Or. He's an icon. Con at Manchester United is old Inigo Jimenez in and amongst Roy Keane Paul Scholes Gary Neville Cristiano Ronaldo David Beckham he's in good company I mean I'll, I'll tell you what this icons uh, tab I mean I'm a United fan and for me you've got your players like Roy Keane Paul Scholes they were just they, they are closer to being legends they should be legends for me they shouldn't be an icons they should be legends Gary Neville as well because he was I don't know Gary, I mean Gary Neville I love Gary Neville so I'd like, I'm a bit biased towards him but you've got like Plays like your social Van Nistelrooy, Ronaldo, Beckham. Yeah. Wayne Rooney should be up in a legend. Absolutely. Van Persie should be an icon. That's fine. I'm happy with Van Persie there. But I'm not happy with Van Persie and Wayne Rooney sharing the same sort of thing. And Van Persie sharing it with Roy Keane and Paul Scholes. They should all be up in the legends. Rant over. Brett Schellier has been at Liverpool for a long time and he's become a Liverpool legend. Whereas Jamie Callan Jamie Carragher's just an icon. Again, again, just that 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 annoys me. Jamie Carragher is an icon, same as Divock Origi. Matey boy's not even in there. Have I missed him? Gerard Fowler, Rush, Firmino, Pastor. <laughs> Dieter Giebler has spent a long time at Liverpool. He's not even made it into favoured personnel. He's not been that successful for them, to be fair. Anyway, uh, so Inigo's actually going to um, Real Madrid. I think Dieter will be retiring. Let's go to 2044 quick. He, he has gone, of course he has. And he's retiring. So he spent one season at Real Madrid where he won the league by 10 points. That's nice to see, isn't it? And uh, Marcelo Brozovic, he was a Liverpool manager just a minute ago. Barcelona won the Spanish Cup, unfortunately. The Champions League was Liverpool. Liverpool won the Champions League. Very impressive. Carlos Elena with that victory. And so um, Inigo is about to retire. So that's going to be the end of the simulating forward in 2044. Where is uh, Dieter? For a start, let's have a quick look at Gebler. He's an unemployed manager with awful attributes. Information, 162 caps for Germany. Inigo got 168 caps for Spain. Speaking of Spain then, let's have a look at the overview. The Euros, we were looking on first. And, well, no wins. Two runners up for Germany. Bosnia and Herzegovina won the Euros in 2040. Okay, three in a row for England. Uh, run up for Spain in 2032. And then, let's say, back-to-back -back runners up for Germany. The golden generation of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Four Four years ago, so most of the team will still be there. As you can see, they're all still in amongst it. Not terrible. Not not um a team that you'd expect to win it, I'll say. But Spain have won two World Cups. So have Brazil and France. But Germany are not even in the top three in any of those tournaments. So again, it just goes to show Inigo for Spain with two World Cups has taken the experiment. Has any of them won the Ballon d'Or though? For a centre back, I doubt it. But we're gonna have a look. Oh, this Gabriel, yeah, we saw him early on, didn't we? 229 million they spent on him and he's just won the Ballon d'Or so many times uh, so no Ballon d'Ors for any of them understandably Football of the Year and nothing in terms of Footballer of the Year I don't believe Player of the Year again it's just much of a muchness so they've not made it in unfortunately um, NXGN did anyone win in the NXGN ever uh, doesn't look like it doesn't look like it Under 21 Football of the Year again they weren't that good at Under 21 level they were facing up against Jude Bellingham and stuff so you know, look at Jude Benning won it three times in a row at Real Madrid. Of course he did. Okay, the World Team of the Year. That's the final countdown.
down and no one's in it there if we go all seasons Jimenez has made it into the world team 11 for all seasons and Giebel's not even in the squad so there you go ladies and gentlemen there is his career there's his polygon in it his ending attributes he went and won La Liga to finish off his career I'll quickly move out of the way so we can have a quick look at his career statistics 638 league games 31 goals 37 assists 36 play with the matches a 7.21 overall a, a plethora of trophies more trophies than I can even name off the top of my head but he did phenomenally well that being said Dieter did improve brilliantly from one acceleration and pace so yeah keep that in mind when you're buying a wonder kid that might be quite slow they can improve a hell of a lot thank you very much for joining me on this one this one's been wild I've had an absolute blast with this one please let me know any attribute verses that you'd like me to do and the position that you'd like the players to be in and even throw in two nationalities if you want why not um but yeah let me know some of these that you'd like me to do because these are so fun and this one i had i had so much more fun with this one and the results were so much more interesting and like the, the story of this one was brilliant i'm a biased is it because is it because united have done well and i've really enjoyed it watching united do well for once maybe so maybe so but still i've had an absolute right with this one give me some attributes that you'd like me to do in the sort of verses because i'd love these kind of things they're not too difficult to set up they're quite easy to produce and i have a blast doing them and hopefully you have a blast watching them if you have please do drop a like on the video it means a lot like i say comment down below with any ideas but anything else at all that i might have missed or anything you'd like to just let me know and talk to me about most importantly though gang please take good care of yourselves and i'll see you soon